Okay, playtime. Let's mix it up. Creativity challenge, day number six. Riffing, riffing. You may not get the whole thing. You may just get outtakes. I don't know. I just need to play, need to play, need to play. So, elephants. Elephants mate for life. I read that somewhere. I don't know if it's true. I probably shouldn't say it without fact checking it. Otherwise, I'm just adding to the misinformation, disinformation, bad information, wrong information that is floating out there in the ether that people latch onto, grab onto, and project because it bolsters their own sense of identity and reinforces their idea of the world and they just want to grab it and throw it out there. And then all of a sudden, we have all of this wrong stuff that's out there and like, oh my God, what the fuck? Whew. <sighs> Elephants may or may not mate for life. I love the idea that they might. Let me know down below if it's true or not. Please add a reference so I know. So I know. So I know. How do we know? How the fuck do we know anything? Because the encyclopedia says it is so... Have you ever read an encyclopedia from 1920? A lot of that shit ain't true, ain't true, ain't true, ain't true. Back to the elephants. I love this tank top because I love the idea that elephants mate for life. And I love the idea of having that experience myself. Of course, I am potentially, quite likely, possibly halfway through my life already but maybe for the rest of my life however long that might be I could have that experience of mating for life and so I bought this tank top almost like a talisman almost like a way to generate project hey this is my desire this is what I would love to have happen because there's a sense of like whoa maybe someone sees it and they're like yeah me too Wow, and then maybe the me too person and the me this, maybe we like vibe and you know, and all of a sudden, boom, because we have a shared desire. And that's the thing about relationships is that it really, really, really helps if there is shared vision. If you are not just, you know, staring at each other eye to eye, soulmates loving the fuck out of each other, or but rather, and also staring at the horizon shoulder to shoulder, walking in the same direction, wanting to go into the same place, something that Aubrey Marcus calls whole mates, right? If staring eye to eye and like knowing each other's souls and all of that is soul mates, whole mates. That's why this, right? That's why this. That's why this. So creativity, oh my God, what am I doing? Who am I? What is this all about? What am I finding my way into? Why am I sharing it here? I do not know. And the not knowing, so fucking scary. So scary, so scary, so scary, so scary, so scary. There's been a lot of fear arising in my system, like so much fear, like even now, I'm like, what is this about? Where is this going? Am I even talking about elephants anymore? This is this, this is this, this is bad, this is good. Oh my God. <sighs> Doubts, fears. Don't let them paralyze you. Don't let them imprison you. Don't let them stop you. Develop the capacity to be able to hold the doubts and fears when they arise without believing in them and without letting them like stop you from doing the thing. So yeah, here I am showing up in my fucking rawness, experimenting and playing and seeing what happens if I just show up and riff, right? What happens if? And trusting the process, trusting the process, trusting the process. So, elephants, possibly mate for life. I have a desire after like years of long-term relationships that have been fairly short, you know, 
to be what would that be like who do I need to become what fears do I need to melt what's trying to protect me and this is the inquiry right oh my god is there a part of me that associates stability and security with danger and not safe and trapped because if that was true, if there was an association in my psyche because of like patterning from early childhood and all of those things, that stability and security equals danger and not safe, then my psyche, bless it, is going to be doing everything it can to protect me from that which is stable and secure because it equates stability and security with danger. These are the things I'm inquiring into right now. These are the things, these are the things. And this is how living a desire-led life functions for me. Clarity on desire, curiosity around who I need to become in order to experience that desire, which means going into the psyche and just doing a little cleanup, a little cleanup, a little cleanup. So, you know, Psyche, hi, hi, hi down there. If there is a part of me that still believes that stability and security equals danger, I'm ready to step into a place where what if security and stability means joy? What if security and stability means contentment? What if security and stability, like what would that feel like? Says the woman who's probably lived in 70, 80, 90, 100 different houses in her lifetime, right? Whoa. Yeah, I like traveling, but whoa. So security and stability is a thing for you. Let's just feel into it together. What would it feel like? What would it feel like? To live a stable and secure life. What would that feel like? And this is maybe the medicine that the elephants are leading me to. And it is not necessarily so much about the actual desire or the attachment to the desire, but rather about the pathway that opens up through the curiosity of moving toward the desire. All right. Over and out. Blessings on the goddess for all that unfolds.